Well, hundreds of people from both sides of the border rallied at Echuca today to demand a new bridge across the Murray. The existing bridge was built more than 130 years ago, and as Stephanie Corsetti reports, residents of Echuca and Moama say it can't cope with increasing truck and tourism traffic. The push for a second bridge over the Murray dates back decades. The current crossing was built in 1879 and many believe it's high time its burdens were shared. People that are on this side of the river in New South Wales have to go across to Echuca for health care and if there's ever any incidents on the bridge then it's almost nigh impossible to get across. The push for a second Murray crossing has united young and old. This one's skanky and pretty much broken so... The previous Labor government in Victoria had announced a second bridge, but the timetable for construction was altered when the Coalition won power in 2010. The current debate is all about the location and design of a new bridge. Once a decision is made on the model, the project will then move to the local council's planning phase. But residents could be waiting at least two years for construction to begin. Vic Road says it needs time for thorough planning to ensure any new bridge will withstand flooding. We are nearing the completion of the uh, detailed investigations for the Midwest 2 corridor. Uh, we're looking at four options that uh, traver traverse through that corridor. Once this option, one of these options decided, let's get on and plan and design and get on with building it. That's something that will unite people on both sides of the border. Stephanie Corsetti, ABC News, Echuca, Moama.